हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु कानपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश गवर्नमेंट एम एस कॉलेज फॉर वीमेन बी कानेर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द पोएम द लुकिंग क्लास रिटन बाय कमला दास आर रिकग्नाइज एज वन ऑफ इंडियाज फॉर्मोस्ट पोएट्स कमला दास वॉज बॉर्न ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर इन साउथ मालाबार इन केरला हर पेरेंट्स वर पोएट्स हर मदर बालमणि अम्मा इज अ रिनाउंट मलयालम पोएटिस she started writing at an early age under the influence of her great uncle nalapat narayan manan a prominent writer das was also affected by the poetry of her mother and the sacred writings kept by the matriarchal community of nayars she was privately educated until the age of 15 when she was married to k madhava das She was sixteen when her first son was born, and she herself admits that she was mature enough to be a mother only when my third child was born. Her career progressed steadily, and uh, Kamala Das's poetry, which was charged by an unusual frankness and openness about sex and her unabashed autobiography, invited a lot of controversy. but her husband at she confesses was very proud of her though he was sick for 3 years before he died his presence brought her tremendous joy and comfort she stated there there shall be not another person so proud of me and my achievements at uh, few places it has been uh, it has been mentioned that uh, her married life was not happy this led to frustration and personal disillusionment uh, it is said that her marital relationship has been hollow but she has not been able to break it though her husband allowed her complete freedom yet she craved for love not freedom thus there is an element of personal touch in her poems she is one of the foremost poets in indo-anglian writing uh, some of his contributions were my story published in 1974 is her autobiography her poetic works are summer in calcutta the descendants and the old play house and other poems she has uh, contributed very much to journals and magazines she has written essays and stories and recipient of kerala sahitya academy award for her stories in malayalam kamla das's achievements are in diverse fields which extend well beyond poetry now we are going to uh, study the poem the looking glass written by kamla das this poem is taken from the descendants which was published in 1967 this is a volume of poetry and it is about physical love between a man and a woman it is uh, it is both patronizing and indulgent in tone the woman in it is every woman that seeks love and the man is every man that wants a woman to satisfy his physical hunger the poem faithfully reflects the mutual need of man and woman for physical enjoyment and a woman must be truthful to this need of hers so in the beginning lines of the poem writer says that getting a man to love you is easy only be honest about your wants as woman stand nude before the glass with him so that he sees himself the stronger one and he and believes it so and you so much more softer younger lovelier according to the poetess a woman should be honest about her wants and requirements and then it would be easy for her to get a man to love her for physical gratification she should draw close to him she should not hesitate to stand naked before the looking glass with him so that he sees it clearly that he is stronger and she is weaker younger and lovelier this will satisfy his male ego and excite his passion for the weaker sex she should also accept his praise of her beauty and youth 
admit your admiration the woman should accept her men's praise for her beauty and youth she should also accept his praise of her beauty and in order to satisfy his male ego she should point out to him that he is bodily perfect admit your admiration notice the perfection of his limbs his eyes reddening under the shower the shy walk across the bathroom floor dropping towels and the jerky way he urinates she should she should point out to him that he is bodily perfect and notice that his eyes getting red in passionate excitement she should also mark his shy walk across the bathroom floor covering himself in the towel and his jerky way of urination she should in short admire him for all his good points and let him feel that he is her only man for sexual satisfaction all the phone details that make him male and your only man gift him all gift him what makes you woman the scent of long hair the musk of sweat between the breast the warm shock of menstrual blood and all your endless female hungers as a woman true to her nature she should give herself over to him totally she should offer to him the scent of her long hair the musk the scent obtained from the gland of musk deer the musk of her breast and the warm shock of her menstrual blood she should allow him to have his fill of sexual pleasure and indulge in it with all her endless female hungers he would then feel that she is not only satisfying his lust but also hers oh yes getting a man to love you is easy but living without him afterwards may have to be faced again the poet is returns to the initial impulse in the poem and asserts that it is easy to get a man to love a woman but that it is very difficult to carry on her life after he has gone away forever but living without him afterwards may have to be faced a living without life when you move around meeting strangers with your eyes that gave up their search with ears that hear only his last voice calling out your name and your body which once under his touch had gleamed gleamed means shone slightly or momentarily gleamed like burnished burnished mean polished made bright by rumming now drab and destitute now dull and miserable for him okay again the poet is uh, we say returns to the initial impulse in the poem and she says that it is very difficult to carry on her life after he has gone away forever for him it is simply a sexual encounter with a lustful woman but for her it entails all difficulties and tensions on his desertion she feels totally stranded in life suffering humiliations and miseries of a fallen woman she was once in quest of emotional fulfillment but she received only tears and sobs in coming with contact with strangers her body which once gleamed under his touch like burnished brass become now drab and destitute dull and miserable she is no more than a melancholy woman having onslaughts of disease and decay and deformity so speaking of this poem ml sharma writes as the f- follows in this poem the poet offers a cool almost a cold blooded dispassionate and clinical analysis of the different stages of falling in love the machiavellian strategies to hold that love and the inevitable decline and fall of the heart's empire the title of the poem could better have been love's progress the poem is simple and straightforward in its diction the poem does not merely celebrate the passions of love it simultaneously views the climax and the 
anticlimax through a bifocal vision which renders the complexity, ambivalence and the irony of this total situation in much greater depth than in normally seen. It is highly charged with pearls and power. Passion seems to leap out of every line. A sharp feminine sensibility is at work here. As a full-blooded woman, Kamala Das makes an honest confession of her wants of her sexual gratification. The poem is decidedly a uh, powerfully the poem decidedly powerfully evokes the image of lustful relationship between the two sexes. Nothing is is in truth concealed from the reader, not even the ugly and the forbidden. We can say there is a subtle psychological analysis of the male mentality in the first part of the poem, just as the secondly second part is totally pervaded by a feminine consciousness. The cumulative effect of the poem is one of sterility and futility of sexual love. Most of the experiences which we come across in Kamla Das's poems are of an unkind variety and a search for love and kindness ends up in a barren wasteland where there is neither life nor hope this is all about the poem the looking class written by kamla das thank you